Hey, uh, this is Sridhar from WPDevDesign.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can uh, replace or override as well as add icons to the default icons present in the UI kit front end library. On this page, you can see that uh, UI kit icons min.js is the file that needs to be loaded to ensure that uh, all these icons are available for us to use and here is the sample HTML markup that we can use to um, show the icons we can either use the the spawn tag or the a which is the anchor tag um, on this test site that is running oxygen I have got two icons the check mark and the heart and in this uh, video let's uh, replace this icon with uh, a different SVG file which has a circle around the check mark and I'm going to show you what we are uh, aiming for so this is what uh, we are trying to do we are trying to replace this simple check icon with an icon that has a circle this is a custom SVG file okay um, so if you go to this page this has the information on how we can uh, extend and customize the icon files so the first step is that we need to basically uh, set up UI kit from github source so if you go there And here it says that to compile UI kit yourself, you can use the included build scripts yarn, yarn compile, and yarn watch. Okay. And here you can see the command that we need to type in the terminal to uh, basically make a clone of the UI kit repository. So we'll start with that command. Here I have got a folder called web stuff in my documents and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open up a terminal window And I'm going to type cd that is that stands for change directory uh, into this web stuff. I'll just drag that and drop it in here. And by the way, as you know, as you can see, I'm using a Mac. I do not know if the this process is working is going to work on a Windows machine. Uh, you could give it a try. Okay. So anyway, I have uh, changed my directory into this web stuff, and let's now copy this command paste it in and hit enter okay that is done so now if you go inside you can see it has created a new folder called UI kit and inside that you can see uh, the various folders build distribution source tests and all that uh, if you take a look at the uh, I think it is uh, source yeah if you go to source and images and icons uh, this is where you can see the individual SVG files that make up the uh, icons and here you can see it has got this check.svg file okay so we have got that uh, we've got the repository cloned uh, into our local machine and the next step is to run yarn okay so um, before we run yarn we need to make sure that we are inside UI kit folder so I'm going to do CD UI kit 
and uh, now we just run yarn so all the dependencies dependencies get installed okay that is done so now we have to compile all the source files but before you do this we need to um, replace the svg icon or place the icon in the correct place and the name of the folder where our custom svg files have to reside is this custom and then inside that i mean uh, yeah inside that there should be an icons folder so let's go inside ui kit and i'm going to create a folder called custom and inside that i'm going to create icons and here i'm going to place my custom svg file uh, which happens to be this and we need to make sure that the name of this matches with what we are trying to replace so in this case that is check.svg so I'm going to change the name of this to check.svg and after that we just uh, need uh, to run this command so that uh, this particular file, the JS file uh, gets regenerated for the icons. okay so that's done so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go inside my uh, custom functionality plugin assets and js and here i can see the icons file which is the default file so i'm just going to rename this to something like original and uh, go back to distribution js and now this is the new file that has been generated as uh, part of that uh, uh, yarn compile command. So I'm just going to copy this over. So this will have the new icon, the check.svg. And I'm gonna go back to my web page and reload. Let's do a hard refresh. So I'm gonna hit Command Shift R, and now you can see the new icon, which is uh, gigantic. So if you, if we inspect that here, you can see that uh, it's got a width and height of 512, whereas this, uh, the default icons that come with UI Kit have the width and height of 20. So we could uh, set the width, change the width and height using CSS. As you can see, this uh, the span element has a class of UI UK icon. So what we can do is we can target this SVG using that class. Um, right, so what I'll do is I'll uh, go to manage style sheets and I'll op open up one of the style sheets that I've already created in the past and say dot uk icon svg insert that you want the width to be 20% and the height to be 20% save it come back here and reload and we are done that's it I hope you found this helpful. Bye for now.